Redneck Nation, how are you? It is me, T. Rail the Redneck, long-headed one, son of the South I am. Welcome to it. This is a breakfast with T. Rail. Let's go see what's on the menu today. I tell you what I got here. I got me some bacon and cooking. And she's cooking pretty good. Go ahead and turn these over one time. You know what I mean? We're gonna turn them over. Let's flip these things over and give them a good flipper. Oh, she wanted to curl up on me. She's being shy. <laughs> Just being shy for the camera. Damn. There you go. Hold that some bit down there, damn. Stay in place. All right, we're gonna flip these over. I didn't left them on that side too long. Over there. I'm recording my intro. How y'all doing? So there we got some bacon on the menu. And uh, y'all know what comes after that. That's the eggs, boy. We'll go in the fridge here and get me a couple eggs. We got some sweet tea, some milk, some ham, cheese, got me some damn hamburger meat, hot dog bun, bread. Keep bread in the refrigerator, man. They stay, they stay uh, fresh forever. But we're going to come right here and get these last two eggs, I guess. And we'll leave them in the, we'll leave that, that in there. We'll come back and get that, throw it away in a little bit. Alright, so we got the bacon all done there. It's looking pretty good. We're going to sit here and let this grease cool down. And then I put it in my grease tub. So, uh, while that's cooling down, we're going to make them eggs. Believe with all my heart. The copy is The moment you could walk, well, all you did sure was run like a little uh -oh. blue. Mine was faster than your feet, and the shoes you were wearing. You hit that wall face first, get up and do it again. And once you hit that deep bed, and your heart was pounding, you knew that daddy beat those arms to keep you from drowning. And it's the little things about you I cherish and say that little scar beside your nose. And you could buy away the little note you put in my bag when I leave out the door. The way you set out your school clothes all over the floor. My little genius. Alright, we got the eggs mixed up here. And if y'all ain't never seen this before, we're gonna put eggs in the microwave. I want y'all to see this. Two eggs in the mic. And you put it on for one minute, 30 seconds. Now y'all watch that there. Watch them. They'll start fluffing up. Heck yeah. Y'all ain't never cooked eggs in the microwave. Or ain't never seen eggs being cooked in the microwave. Here you go. Watch this. See the edges already starting to down swell up. Look at them. Is it swelling? See, let that swell a little bit. You gotta stir it up one time. Get that loose. And then put it right back in the microwave for the rest of the time. Now watch. Stuff gonna swell up. Minute 30 seconds, two eggs. Just fluffy as can be. Look at that. Look at that swelling up in there. <laughs> and five, four, three, you know, 10 seconds left. Look at that. 
Nice fluffy eggs. And the eggs are cooked. Look at that. Boy. So we got eggs and bacon this morning. That's what's on the menu. Eggs and bacon. I decided to put a piece of cheese on the eggs there. And so, you know, we're just going to... Uh, we're going to break this bacon up. Well, kind of hard to do with one hand. But anyway, we're going to throw the bacon in there. We're going to break that up. Mix it all up. And then just crumble the bacon up in there. And stir it on up. We're going to give her a stir. And there you have it. Redneck cooking with T-Row the Redneck. Bacon, in the, bacon, egg, and cheese in a bowl. My name is T-Row. We eating it. See y'all on the next one. Peace out.